Hello, investors. Yesterday, we reached an all-time high on the S&P 500. Tesla hit $900, and even with mixed earnings reports, things are looking like this bull run might continue. Today, we are going to cover my entire $10,000 portfolio that is off to a great start, and I just started it last month. Tesla and Blackstone updates and what to expect, and what's up with Bitcoin, and is now the time to buy more. Let's jump into my Discord for a quick lesson and success story. Haru said, Covenant Logistics, brutal drop of 21%. What Jerry said today about holding stock through earnings makes this a prime example. Covenant Logistics just barely beat earnings, and when we look at the chart, we can see they dropped over 21% in just one day. And our success story is from Toucan Sam, who said, I tightened my trail stop on Covenant Logistics and took a 34% gain on it. I thought about buying it back because it is near the price point I got in. Now, there's two lessons on this. Number one, holding over earnings is high risk, and number two, trail stops can save your assets. If Toucan Sam did not have a trail stop in place, he would have lost the majority of his profits. This is what we teach and you should join us on Discord to get our live trading alerts, daily hot stocks, and custom indicators. All right, now's the time to grab a huge cup of coffee in a new mug and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. Let's jump into the charts and be sure to check out the Beast Mode scorecard on the left side for the fundamentals. All right, guys, this is my $10,000 IRA portfolio that I started last month, and in the first month, we're up over 2%. If we look at our TOS bar for Apple, ticker AAPL, in one week, they're up 4%. In one month, 2.5%. Over three months, they're only up 1%. Six months, 11%. And one year is 28%. And just to clarify, this is a long-term portfolio, so we're looking at waking up in six months or 12 months and seeing how much money we've made. This is not a swing trade portfolio at all. Our recommended trail stop is going to be 4%. We can see our volume is currently down 22% and we can double check our volume graph down here at the bottom. And we can see that I own $897, which is six shares. That's the number six. And this represents 8.9% of my portfolio. My current profit is $16 and I am up 1.9% on this position. Apple has a revenue growth forecast of 33.4%. And looking at our chart, you can see I put my trail stop and it is currently at 10 percent, which is roughly two times the current recommended trail stop. If we look at our momentum dream indicator, things are looking pretty good. We had a real short squeeze here that fired a couple of trading sessions ago, and it is heading up and off to the races. We just had a crossover on our moving averages where this little bright 20 blue line crossed over the 50-day EMA. And if we look at a new indicator I'm working on, this is called the buy zone. Our trend is bullish. We are officially in the buy zone, which is this highlight right here. And we had a little buy signal right here as well. So this is if you're still looking to buy, this is a great time to get into the stock. And because this is a long-term account, I will hold over earnings, which we have coming up on the 28th, which is next week. Our second stock is Airbnb, ticker ABNB. They were up 0.44% yesterday, and this is one of three of the higher risk stocks we have in this portfolio. In the last month, they're up 0.3%. In two months, they're up 16%. And if we look at the chart here, we can see that they actually came down quite a bit from 183.22 down to a low of 129, and we're starting an upward trend right here. We've got a nice set of railroad tracks. I currently own six shares, which is $1,023, and it represents 10.15% of my portfolio. I'm currently down $19, which is 1.8%. If we look at the momentum dream, we've got a squeeze alert, and this is a great time to buy the stock. We just want to make sure the momentum is going up. So over here, we can see our squeeze is going on, and it's been going on now for 14 days. And if we look at the buy zone indicator, we can see our trend is currently bearish, which is a warning zone. Now, I'm okay to buy during a squeeze, even if we're in a warning zone. I just want to make sure that momentum is going up. We also have a number eight here, which is a buy the bounce indicator. So we've got that going on as well. And then if we cover our golden question, that is, will I risk $77 and buy six shares for $1,023? That's assuming you set your trail stop at 8%. Your target price would be $189.74 and your profit per share $19.24. And since this is my long-term account, the trail stop is actually set at 16%. 
Our third stock is the Blackstone ETF, ticker BX, and this one is absolutely killing it. They announced earnings yesterday, and the estimate was 0.92, so 92 cents, and it came in at $1.94, so they doubled the earnings per share estimate, and they were up 2.98%. This is one of my favorite stocks. It's not very volatile. We've got a recommended trailing stop of 7%, and in one month, I'm already up 13.4%, or 140 $41. And you can see that I own nine shares and it represents 11.83% of my portfolio. And we're also in the buy zone on my buy zone indicator. That means this is a great potential time to get into this stock. We also have a dividend coming up of $1.09 next week. Our fourth stock is DraftKings, ticker DKNG. And if we look at the chart here, this is what we don't want to see. We've got a lot of red. I'm still very bullish on this stock for the long term. In one year, they're only up 18%, although over the last six months, they're actually down 16%. Our recommended trail stop is 10%. However, I've got mine set at 20% to give this one a lot of room to work. I am currently down 3.1%, which is $31. And if we look at our Momentum Dream Indicator, the good news is our momentum is going up. We are in a squeeze. We love it whenever it crosses over and it goes to the bright blue color, which is what we hope to see soon. And on my buy zone indicator, our trend is bullish and we're on the yellow dots right now. And that means get ready or an early entry if you like this stock for the long term. I'm already in it, so you know that I'm bullish. And then let's close up with our golden question. Will I risk $101 and buy 21 shares for $1,027? The target price right now would be $56.16 if you were a shorter term trader and a profit per share $7.24. The next stock we have is Facebook, ticker FB. I do like these guys for the long term, but when I looked at buying about a month ago, I didn't like what the technicals were telling me, so I decided to wait and we have not bought this one yet. So if we look at the chart here, nice upward trend, things changed. We hit a warning zone on our top dream indicator and we also hit a warning zone on my buy zone indicator. So right now we can tell that it is getting ready or an early entry on Facebook. I am going to wait on this until after earnings because Facebook has a lot of noise going on right now. They're in the news. They're looking at rebranding their name and possibly changing their parent company name. So there's a lot of things happening with Facebook and I just assume wait a little while to see how it plays out. And if I don't see this trend continue upward, then I'll look at replacing this with a different stock. Next up, we've got good old Microsoft, ticker MSFT. They were up 1.09% yesterday. Uh, the recommended trail stop is 4%. Again, I've got this for the longer term, so I will take a loss up to 10%, which is where my trail stop is set. We can see they just reached a new high yesterday. I'm currently up 5.1% on this position, which is $45. And on our indicators, we're in the buy zone on both, and they are reporting earnings next week. And our golden question, will I risk $37 and buy three shares for $932. And it's only a $37 risk if you set your trail stop at 4%. And your profit per share target at this time would be $18.53. The seventh stock you want to consider buying is NVIDIA, ticker NVDA. They were up a whopping 2.66% yesterday. They're a chip maker. There's still a chip shortage going on. I like these guys for the long term. Revenue growth forecast is 54.6%. I own five shares in this account, $1,135. And my current profit is $75, which is 7.1%. And if you like my indicators, all of these are available in my Discord. So check it out so you can grab those. On our Momentum Dream Indicator, we are in a buy zone and we're also in a buy zone on my buy zone indicator. Our golden question, will I risk $59 and buy four shares for $908? Target price $249.12. Profit per share $22.20. And I love the risk management bar. Complete trading plan. It makes it brain dead simple. You just sit, tell it what your account size is or let it grab it for you automatically. And it spits this out so you know how much to buy and when to buy and when to sell. The eighth stock is Palantir, ticker PLTR, and this is another one of our high-risk plays, and this is my current biggest loser in the portfolio. It is down 14.6%, which is $145. It is currently worth $843, and I own 34 shares. Looking at the charts here, we can see that it has been coming down. It's starting to build a little bit of momentum up. Our momentum indicator tells us the momentum is going up. We are in a buy zone. However, on my lower indicator, the trend is bullish, and it's 
telling us get ready or an early entry. So on this one, I would wait until this crosses over and we get a clear buy signal and a green buy zone. If you're following the risk management bar, will you risk $97 and buy 41 shares for $1,016 based on a 10% trail stop? Your target price would be $28.33 and your profit per share $3.55. Our ninth stock is Tesla, ticker TSLA. And if you didn't catch my Tesla video yesterday on the quarter three earnings summary, definitely check it out. They blew it out with record earnings. I, even though they were trading down in the after hours after the earnings announcement, yesterday everybody digested all of the earnings. And like I said in the video, once people understood the earnings, the stock was going to go up and it shot up 3.26%. Looking at our chart, we can see we're in a beautiful upward trend. Uh, we've got a lot of lime green here on my indicators. I love it. Um, I currently own $894. This account, I'm up 13.4%, which is $105. And I own well into the six figures of Tesla. So I'm a big Tesla bull, loving it. See it going higher. Uh, great earnings report. And we're in the buy zone on both indicators down below. And this is a stock that I think you should definitely have in your portfolio. And our last stock is the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, ticker VOO or VU for short. If we look at this, it's a very conservative stock. The recommended trail stop is 3%, tells us it's not very volatile. And look at these gains. They're just steadily going up. In one month, they're up 3.2%. In three months, they're only up 3%. Six months, 9%. And one year, 32%. So this is super conservative. Don't expect record gains like Tesla or any of, other, or any of our other big fast moving stocks, but it's a good good place to have some of your money that is relatively safe. I currently own three shares, which is $1,251. It represents 12.41% of my portfolio. The profit is 1.8% or $23. And if we look at our golden question, will I risk $22 and buy two shares for $834? Our target price would be $433.30. Our recommended trail stop for a normal swing trade would be 3%. For my long-term account, it is set at 6%. And our profit per share, we want at least $16 and 29 cents on that. For our momentum indicators, we are in a buy zone on the top and the bottom. All things looking good. And this rounds out my 10K portfolio. Our question of the day is, what's up with Bitcoin and should you buy right now? For trading Bitcoin with my custom indicators, I have to use TradingView. And if you want to grab my indicators, there's a link in the description down below. All right, looking at Bitcoin, we had a phenomenal run up. This is my current position and I'm currently up about 36 or 37 percent, which isn't bad. And we can see Bitcoin recently hit about 67,000 and it's pulling back. Looking at the Momentum Dream indicator, we can see we are in the red zone, which is a little bit of a warning. And I also also just dropped 50,000 into an account because I'm looking to buy more Bitcoin. But right now the indicator is telling me it's not the best of a time if I want to play the percentages. So what exactly am I looking for? Well, I want to enter on a four hour chart. And if we look at that, let's look at our last time that we had a good entry point here. We had a squeeze going on, great entry point on this green dot. And then there was a real nice run up. We can go back a little bit further and we can see we had another squeeze right here. Get in during the squeeze. It ran up nicely. And these can be a great time to get into it. When we are in the red, this is a warning zone and it's not a great time to get into the stock. So on that red, it went sideways and we're currently red right now where it's been going down and it's starting to go sideways. So right now I'm just going to wait for this to turn back into a green zone for a buy opportunity. And then if I like the setup, I'll buy more Bitcoin. And just for fun, let's take a look at one more and we'll look at Ethereum because they started to come up as well. We're on the four hour chart and it's also telling us to be a little bit cautious, even though it had a real nice big run up. And these are the two biggest cryptocurrencies that I own are Bitcoin and Ethereum, although I do trade the others, but I just do those as swing trades and I put money back into Bitcoin and Ethereum. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want some free stocks from Webull and Moomoo or some free crypto from BlockFi, check out my affiliate links in the description down below. Peace and I'll see you soon on the next video.